For our first honorable mention featuring the boys soccer team, we have one of the biggest rivalries in the Colonial Conference, Sterling vs. Haddonfield. Bruce Williams scores his hard-fought goal to win the game for the Sterling Knights. This would be the first time Sterling had beaten Haddonfield since the 2018-2019 season, due to the last two times ending in ties. In the second half of this very competitive game, the ball gets crossed into the box as a cluster of players make an attempt at it, until Bruce Williams controls it, makes a quick move, then scores bottom left to win the game for his team 2-1. Honorable mention 2, Bruce to the Sterling Lady Knights cheerleading team, scored by Miss Jordan, the Sterling cheer team did a wonderful job pumping up the crowd, interacting with the band, and getting the team and fans hyped for the season. They were a big part of the football team. It's the season ender at Haddon Heights and senior Amanda Weir does not one, not two, not three, but 12 phenomenal backhand springs to get the momentum of the crowd. West Stefford and Sterling are fighting for possession of the ball. West Stefford passes it behind Sterling and kicks it towards the goal. A Sterling player tries to block it with her body, but it ends up going to Alexis Hatfield who stops it with the tip of her finger. The ball is still in play and West Stefford tries to score a goal two more times, but Hatfield stops both attempts. In the second attempt, West Stefford's forward kicks the ball out of bounds. Hatfield's phenomenal save kept Sterling in the game, but unfortunately Sterling went on to lose the game 1-0 after a great attempt by Alexis Hatfield. Third and eight for Sterling Knights. Maya has the ball and looks to his right and passes to Hassan. But Hassan but hits the guy with a quick spin move and runs up for the first down. Great move by Hassan. But amazing, amazing IQ and seeing the guys behind him make him. And so is Maya making a quick pass from. Let's go for the replay. Maya has the ball, looks to his right real quick. Hassan but hits the guy with a spin move real very quick. The guy couldn't react. Great move by Hassan. Next up on the honorable mention, we have senior Tandrew Sivery of the boys' soccer team with the ball against Haddon Township, giving a hard pass to senior Cosmer and John Ray. Cosmer, trying to control it, bounces it up in air with defenders around. Cosmer twists his body around and absolutely nails the ball near post in midair. Here's another look at it. As you can see, Cosmer bounced the ball up to himself in traffic and still was able to get a foot on it and blast it past the goalie in a tie against Haddon Township. Coming up at number 10, Hatfield gets a penalty kick early in the game, and in that, Joey Lomas. Joey comes up with a clutch save for Sterling with his legs. Again, he goes to fake right, and then goes up the middle to save it. Great positioning from Joey. Sterling goes on to win this game 2-1, and they go undefeated against Haddonfield for the season. Coming in at number 9, Collins with Sterling to the hockey game. Before this clutch goal, Sterling hadn't scored a goal all year. Junior Amber Powell just changed that with this snipe from deep. Great goal and also a great pass by Kato Keefe sent up the absolute bomb through two defenders. Wow. The team is pumped. It actually looks like it may have been deflected, so let's take a look at the replay. Happened really fast. So looking at it again, you see there's no deflection. Clean shot. Great placement on the ball. Amber Powell gets the goal. Congrats. By checking the shot out from the back of the goal, you actually get to see how great of a shot this is. Obviously, great pass by Kato Keith. The shot is up. Drew two Panthers. Goal. So on ties the game 1 1, and this game will result in an overtime tie 1 1. Coming in at number 8, we have Kaylee Sheen's equalizer against Haddon Heights. Freshman midfielder Bridget Dixon wins possession for Sterling. She then takes a touch and gives a great ball right through the Sheehan. She beats the Haddon Heights defender in a foot race and takes a beautiful one touch to chip it right over the keeper's head. And you can see the excitement on her face from that one. What a well-deserved goal from Sterling's number 7, Kaylee Sheehan. This was only her second goal in the season and it couldn't have come at a better time. Her great control on the ball and even better placement is what led her to secure the goal for Sterling. Her goal tied up the game with only less than 3 minutes left in the half. More from this game coming up next. Staying with the girls' soccer team for a number seven, where in the overtime against Haddon Heights, sophomore Jade Wiley passes to a wide open. Cat Miller on the wing, who takes a couple dribbles, shoots, and scores over the head of the Garnets goalkeeper for the game winner. Great control by the junior forward, and a better shot for the golden gold for the Lady Knights to end their regular season in a dramatic fashion. At number six, we have a pick six. Gloucester quarterback takes a snap from under center and drops back and throws to his running back. Jameer Richardson comes off the line and reads the play. 
He gets a one-handed pick. He goes from the 30, 20, 10, breaks the tackle. Get off of me. Touchdown, pick six for the Knights. As they celebrate, let's get one more look at this amazing play by Jameer. Comes off the line, reads the screen pass, and gets an amazing one-handed pick. To help Sterling get their first win of the 2020 season to beat Gloucester. Coming in at number 5, we have number 19, sophomore Lexi Berkeley with this amazing shot from pass to 18 for her first goal of the season and to get one back for the Lady Knights against Haddonfield. Here is the replay and again we can see Lexi takes a touch and just rips the ball towards the net and it flies right past the keeper's hands. This is a great take and just an extraordinary shot. Well done to Lexi Berkeley for this goal and their second to last home game of the season. Coming in at number 4 for girls soccer with less than 7 minutes left in the second round playoff game, Aaron Carroll sends the ball to the back post where number 21 Faith Dixon heads the ball in over the goalie's hand. This was the insurance goal for Sterling against the Panthers as they defeat the number 1 team in the Patriot division. This goal was Faith Dixon's third goal of her junior season as well as Aaron Carroll's third assist of her junior season. Sterling would go to win 2-0 in a shutout and advance to the semifinals of Group 2 for South Jersey. At number three, we have Casimir's game-winning goal versus Lindenwald. After a great cross from Matthew Martin, there is a scramble in the box. It somehow ends up on the foot of Casimir, and he makes quick work of it, striking the ball hard into the back of the opponent's net. This game ended their season, leaving the boys' record to be 7-3-2. You can see the look of happiness on his face after the goal, because this is also the last goal he would ever score for Sterling. Coach Marley's and the boys were happy to scrape out of this game with a win, after such an intense battle with the opposing team. Coming in at number two on our top ten, Thompson drops back, scans the field, sees Valeriana in the back of the end zone, tosses it up, Valeriana goes up, snatches the ball out of the air using one hand for a touchdown. Oh my god, look at the celebration on that kid. Let's see if we can get that thing again. Thompson drops back, makes the throw, pitch and catch, still gets hit. Valeriana goes up for a catch, snags it just like Odell Beckham Jr. Sterling goes on to win. In overtime, 21-14. And coming in at clip one on a fall top 10 place in 2020. Sterling for his hat and heights and a great iron in the final game of the season. Sterling just gave up a touchdown and exceeded an even the score. During the number five, Trey Poss catches it on the 11 yard line, points to his blockers, makes a couple cuts, one man the beat, and then not going to catch him. Poss with just enough left in the tank to get all the way in the end zone for a touchdown. He even has some energy left for some high fives for the fans. Let's watch that replay again. Look at number 5 with a 99 awareness as Poss takes the 89 yards for a touchdown. However, Strom would go on and lose his game 42-27 but an A-plus effort by Potts. You have been watching the top highlights from the fall 2020 sports season right here on At Nights Overtime. Congratulations to all the fall sports students, athletes, and coaches on a successful year. And as always, go Knights!